fantastic place. My daughter's in an excursion here today. There's a regatta on, school regatta on as well. Then we're gonna go over this bridge and we're gonna go and try and catch a bass. <laughs> Do. Oh, it was a cracking strike. Yeah. I'm just going to run this camera and see if you can get it again. I got 12 on this today. Hey? I got 12 on this. 12? Unreal. Like the constant retreat today. Yeah, I noticed that. I was watching you as you were coming in and I heard and seen that strike. That's why I was thinking pencils. Like for that chase. Yeah. I haven't seen you for a long time, Aaron. Yeah, I've been <laughs> I've been trying to get down here. The the fishing's that good everywhere, it's hard to Yeah. Hard to work out where you're gonna go. I'm all come down just to say good day to Eric. Oh, Eric, not coming today. No. Yeah. Come on, get this fish. I know you're going to get it. So you get them all over or just here? All over. Like Beautiful. Here to the boat land there. Yeah. I've been fishing this area the whole day. Yeah. The whole morning. I bet you really nutted it out now from when I first seen you. Yeah. Hey? <laughs> it turns into a playground. that building back to where I started with the video with the old mate getting them on surface and I have walked all the way to here without a strike the Sun come out you can actually hear them surface feeding when I first started walking the Sun come out and the surface bite just stopped and uh, finally Finally got myself a hook up. Look at it, he swallowed it too. Get up here. What a chunk. Come here, come here, come here. That is an absolute chunk. Yeah. Come on, man. Open it up and the hook will be gone. Little TN50. Yeah, that one was. Just grab you gently. He is a. Cracking a little bass, a little blood, bit of blood from the hook, but a few sores. See you, buddy. And there, so I've probably lost half a kilo in weight to catch that fish, but it was worth it. Now I've dropped that rod there, that's the, I got a little crab on there for carp, I was spotting carp speculating for bass and finally just two cranks and I was onto that guy so it might be a patch up here oh I got it there's shallow weed beds out there okay and that cloud's coming back over so I'll have a few more flicks with this go back get my bag we might get our surface bite up here this afternoon found him what a huge huge bag of dirt I know, I think I spooked him. He's on it. Oh, damn, he had it. That's the first carp I've seen all day. Oh, I just got. Cracking big bass. I thought I was filming, but it wasn't. And that's it. I had the two. Oh, they're carp jumping. I had the two, and that was just then. So just check it out for a bit. 
because I've only seen two carp all day, that they, they, they were definitely carp jumping. It's only about quarter past two. I'm just gonna work my way back, way back to the uh, tackle bag and then have another plan of attack. Number three, I just walked all the way back from that point I was on, got back to here where I caught that first bass and and I might add too what I did notice with the using the vibes is that the wee beds are shallow all the way out where here, oh he's a good fish, big big fish, uh, about the same as the other one. Here, there's a bit of a deep drop off where the jackal can sink into it, and then as I'm weeding into that, winding into that weed bed, he's uh, he's just edit through the weed. So there you go. There's another one. It's about the same as the first one. Big fish, but they're good fish. Empowerment, and they really give you a fight too. That that's the hit, which I. It's because it's been so quiet, I haven't actually been filming. I'll just put my hand on you. Let's get this out. It's uh, riding hard. Okay. Just behave yourself for a second. There's my pliers, by the way. Here we go. Hey, mate. Please, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come here, come here, come here. Sorry about that. There's another one. I saw bass. Still got a few sores on them, but apart from that, they look beautiful. All right, let you go. Try and get a, another one. the best bit. Alright, that's, I've only caught three fish. They're all been like that. One I thought I had on film but I didn't up there. But the thing is, I'm sweating. And that's, that's the weed belt. Oh, what happened there? I don't know, it's just weed. I remember, it's actually snag snag. So this is just all ribbon weed, so vine weed so I can just rip through it with the with the big trebles on this. Yeah, where was I? Yeah. Uh, I'm sweating. I don't know how much weight I'm going to lose by the end of this session, but I can guarantee you I couldn't lose it in a gym. And every, oh, there's another one. Oh, I might have been weed bed. I was going to say, every time one of these things hit me, it's in the weed that they're hitting me. Well, that's the exact same spot, so I'd say I'll work back to my bag. Bring my bag up here. Might fluke another fish, but stay on this school up here. That's oh, okay. Oh, walked all the way back to my bag. Just speculate casting as I went. Not one, not another bite. I left my rod up there deliberately so I won't turn around and just keep walking out. I'm going to go back to that school of fish and just work that area with a few different lures and these jackals so we can pick up a pattern. Well, I got one pattern with the jackal. But uh, I think within the next hour, it's probably worth just hanging around and fishing until this school comes on. That's the theory. I should have ran the camera then. It was almost to give me... I've just got straight back to... Oh, got straight back to where the rod's sitting, the other rod. And I've just got slammed. They're all good fish. Oh, that one just cracked it. I must be in a, just a little hole of them. So I just hang around here. Doesn't even look as big as the others, but geez, he's fighting, huh? If I just hang around here, I'm sure they're going to start feeding up on these shallow weed beds. 
So I'll get a double piece of this school. Still a chunk. Oh. But that, I didn't bother with the camera. I just, this, this sort of fishing is very boring to film because you're just casting and winding back. But, whoa, that's another chunk. Look at that. That's, that's number four, but I've got three of them just here. Okay, let's let me get this out. Okay, I'll just show you where my bag is. There's the maraud I left here. Walked halfway back to that building. Fished it all the way, never got a strike. Just dropped my bag under the shady tree here because I was going to speculate cast up to where the rod was because this is where I'm getting all my fish. And uh, pick up the rival rod, bring it back here and change over to a little surface lure to work these weed edges. Like I said, I've got there and it's just gone bang. We'll let him go here. There's a school of them. See you, buddy. Well, that was a hungry, hungry bite. Like, I mean, slammed it. And there's a the bag there. Ugh. If you're wondering, I got a little Shimano Sedona reel. Is what I'm using a two and a half thousand, and it's probably overkill. I got 15 pound braid on it, 10 pound leader. But oh well, but the drag's as good as the Stratus, in my opinion. And when these hit, see, I just hit that chunk weed then. But I, I think the secret to it is if I leave, if I sit, I'll have a few more flicks now. But if I do nothing for five to ten minutes, I reckon within three, four casts, I'll get another one like that. That seems to be the pattern is that they're holding the one spot. And uh, they're going to sit there till they get fully active and start looking for food. Turn the camera on. There's another one. And there's my rod, the other rod just sitting on the bank there. There's a pipe there, I'm a bit worried about that. I'll try and get him across. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we've got him triggered now. That was about two casts after I turned that camera. Oh, the beautiful fish. Never get sick of my bass. Look at him coming. He just won't give up. Uh, that's probably the smallest one I've got today and he's fighting every bit as hard as the others. Still a good fish. Hey mate. There he is. Number five. But four of them from this exact one spot. So they're starting to come up on the chew. I keep trying to get back to him. like there's the rod I got to that turned the camera off and went one two more casts and give you an alley oop oh, gone two more casts and I got in so I'm just sitting on a patch of bass I might as well flog it a bit before I go to something else but uh, that's a distinct hole of about 50 yards here that I've found that's sort of weed free and that's what they're they're just pumbling that okay, I've given it a little five nearly ten minutes break. I'm back at where my rod's sitting I'll fish from here to the bag there one more run see if we can pull off another one here what's he looking for? Just about to give up, there's the bag there. I thought I'll walk to this tree, I'll drop my rod, and then I'll um, 
get my bag and walk back to the car car area bang here's another one now that one oh one that was the biggest bass of the day it was a real good bass and two he hit me right at the bank oh phew, that was a cracker I mean they've all been good bass today but that one was a really big fish now, I don't know how many casts I do in a session but I cast wine back, cast wine back I keep walking up and down, up and down I reckon by the end of today I would do my 10,000 steps easy plus carrying of the bag the coordination of the lure fishing and when you put it all together it's quite a good workout the only thing that's upsetting about today was I just missed a fish I'm going to leave my rod there walk to the next stand of trees, drop my gear off there, walk back to the rod and fish this really thoroughly because they are on the bite and then I grab this rod here I have one cast one here I'm going to walk up to those rushes and then just work this whole run all the way back to here Film. I just got to these reeds that's the tree I've had the bag on all day I've just parked on another one second cast bang so they're up in these shallow flats now so if I hang around here I could have quite a bit of fun not as big as some of them but still a nice little chunky bass and once again he goes right in the weeds come on I think that's number six. Although I've dropped, dropped one. I lost one. That's always a big one. Winge, winge, boo hoo. See you, buddy. <laughs>